The heck does you must have more than one of those mean? This is a different room, what the heck? What the? <laughs> Science like, it's creepy, die! Get that out of me, my face. See you, Silence. Hippocampus? What the heck kind of name is that? Also, I just realized the description for ba Bahamut said he goes through magic defense, which, again, is another thing Final Fantasy VII takes. That was great. Bring me some more. I'm not happy unless I have plenty to eat. What kind of stupid... <laughs> what the heck? What's going on with this dungeon? Just takes you to a random floor when you hit these buttons? This dungeon sucks. Yo, Bento, they were the 3,504 bits. He set the bit counter to 9999. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks for the congrats as well. Yeah, I thought about doing the Moogle Charm, but I figured there might be some unique enemies in here, so... Yeah, I really do like how the final dungeon made you use all your party members, and it reminds me a bit of Bizarro Sephiroth, where, like, it throws in that curveball at the end. Like, have you been using your other characters? Because if not, you're gonna have a problem. Okay, I have a lot of coral now. How much coral could this chest possibly eat? I have all the coral in the whole, the whole planet. More, more coral. You need more. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't, like... Oh man, I'm out of FP. Take the 100 bits, Flail. Appreciate it, man. Um, I'm glad I didn't just... I'm glad I didn't just unequip and re-equip everyone every single time I switched parties. I kind of forced myself to actually stay the course and give everyone enough to survive, and it made it a lot more fun and rewarding in the end. Bento, thanks for the 1,010! 
Setting the number to one 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 one. Oh, I should use a tent while I'm standing here on the save point. Yeah, I need to listen to the final boss music a little bit more. Like, I've heard Dancing Mad before, but I need to listen to, like, all the final music a bit more because I was a little too focused on the fight. <laughs> I was I was enjoying the music, but I didn't really, like, analyze it or anything because I was focused on the fight. I might go back and just watch the final boss fight again, like myself, my recording of it. You have to feed them all at once. Does the does the coral like reset? Or there's not a finite amount? Because otherwise you can get stuck, right? How there's no way to see how much coral I have. Yikes. Well, I got like eight out of one of those chests, so I'm like on my way, but... Interesting mechanic we got here. Uh, sure, you can tell me how revenge works. I was trying to figure it out earlier. It seemed like it was damage he takes. Like he has to take some damage and then use it. Oh, nice. Another Final Fantasy VII thing. Thank you so much for the 1,009 bits to Keto. Wow. A piece of coral. So, uh... I mean... Revenge is kind of lame then, because... There's way too many better... Like, you'd have to... Grind them up to 9,999 HP for it to even be good. Yeah, I guess unless you're fighting a gimmick enemy. I don't remember a ton of gimmick enemies in this game, though, in terms of, like... Not taking any type of damage. Think of the 221 Grim and the 221 Flail. <laughs> Otaru with the heathen bit. Five pieces there. Could do like. Right, that's probably enough there. Yeah. To go through this dialogue every time. Oh, I see. He takes it all. Yeah. I thought I was gonna have to do 22 feeds. <laughs> eh, what the? Modulating phase. Think with a 99 bento. Pluck. Oh my god. I hate dungeons like this with the limited vision because I always feel like I'm missing a million things and I have to check every single corner.
Let's hit on. It looks like a Ghostbusters ghost. Wow. He's kind of terrifying. Also, so much for him only showing up if he goes alone. What the heck was that garbage? Such as the troll or what? Think of the 110, Trev. How you doing today, man? Oh, he's gonna die really quick. Weak against Earth? <laughs> Dare I use Quake? What happened to my remedy? There it is. Why does that one have reflect? Kill that thing. Okay, let's just cast reflect on Cyan for no reason. Yo, oops, with the five gifted subs! Five gifted sub bomb, thank you so much. Grand Train. Oh, no. I'm making sure that Strago gets the killing blow. Because why not? Tech, Bento, Taquito, Grim. Thank you guys so much for all the bits. Play a link with a 3-3-3. Oh, I learned Grand Train, too. Think of the 1500 Retro. I did it! I... I actually beat Hit on. I have to tell Gung how he is avenged! He looks so happy. That was so sweet. Gungo! Gungo! What's all the hullabaloo? Listen to me, I defeated Hit on. You what? You beat Hit on? You're lying! Lying! No, he's not. He really defeated Hidon. Ho, ho, ho. If I didn't know better, I'd say that Hidon wasn't my only enemy. I don't believe this. This has to be a joke. Ho, ho, ho. By the way, how are your wounds healing, Gunko? Eh? Oh, they're fine. That's it. They're fine. That evening. Uh-oh. That fine. There they are. There I was, in a cave that seemed endless. Then, before I knew it, Hidon appeared. I stared Hidon straight in the eye, lit my staff, and let him have it. Kapow! Thwack! Crash! I wanted to show my enemy the true meaning of the word hero. And then. What happened to Grandpa? Huh? 
Finally, he nodded off. However, let's let him be. He's nice and quiet. Now about my wounds. Wait. First, let me thank you. You gave Grandpa a reason to go and defeat something that had tormented him for decades. Even if you were faking, that creature meant business. What a granddaughter he, he's raised. Amazing. But what a terrible actor you are. Only Strago could have been taken in by that performance. What the... Okay, but like, why did he... I'm confused. Why did he fake it? Just to motivate Strago, like you wanted him to finally do his do the quest. No. But he had looked at him for looked for him for like years and years and years. What made him think he was gonna find him now? He just had faith. He had faith that Strago could do it. Thank you for the 173 oops. Thank you, C Mark as well, and Takito. And Blail again. Thank you, thank you guys. Okay, so Doma next? Where's Doma? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes, I am sure Doma's next. Small island. Here? jam again. So there's more to do here than just the dream? Oh, Alexander. Oh, man. This is going to have Pearl, isn't it? This whole time, I've been looking for Pearl. God dang it. Well, at least we have it now. That's true, we did have Aura Hadouken, but I wanted Pearl, actual Pearl the whole time. Okay, Jador. Where's Jador again? Down. Yo, Rudy with the 10 gift sub bomb! What a legend. I think it's... I think it's on this continent. Nice. I remembered! Okay, here we're just going to the auction house. have half a million gill I might might not be able to buy anything you're not gonna believe this quality high-tech merchandise an imp robot <laughs> 5 GP How's it going, ABL? Pop 
Papa, I want that, please. No, you don't. Now pipe down. One million GP. I couldn't even buy that if I wanted to. Wow, spoiled kid. It's Gollum. I figure there was probably more here because I only went here like twice and got a Magicite out of it, so I figure there's probably more, but I didn't want to spend all my money at the time. So he's not too exciting. Stuff I've already seen. We can check him out, though. Also, it says protects the party, so I wonder what that's about. Because he doesn't say casts safe, he says protects party, so I wonder if it's a separate bonus. Kind of like it was in 5. Oh my god! Okay, he looks really cool. Yeah, it's a separate bonus. So that's actually really strong, because then you could also cast safe and get like a double... Double protect. Thanks again, Rudy, for the 10 gifted sub bomb. Thank you guys so much for the support. Beauty, think of the gifted sub to General as well. And Blail, think of 100 bits. Can we like... You guys die. <laughs> Yo, Magi, how's it going? What did I get from the hype train? I got. What is that? It's a dog, but what is he. What is going on with him? by that email. Okay. Is there anything else to do with the uh, the auction or is that it? Oh, was yours before the... Oh, yeah, it was right before the, the sub-bomb. I missed it. My bad. The tier 2? 19 months? Holy cow. Thank you, my man. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and hint me in another direction if you want. I don't have any other plans, ideas. 
the first island I was at. Oh, the... I think that's down here. This one? Celeste Island? Sid's house? We already looked at the letter. Go south. Oh. So when did when did this appear? Cuz we came here before and it wasn't there. Is this like after you get all the characters or after airship? Palador. Party members use a jump attack. Interesting. Oh man, haste two and slow two. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's funny that I went every other way. I mean, why would I check the beach randomly, right? Oh yeah, that's right, these things die on their own. What the... <laughs> it just flew away. See you later. Yeah, I could see where that would be pretty good for the curse shield. Still, 256 battles. That's going to take a while, even with those squirrels. You can save Sid? Really? How does that work? I'm really curious on that. Yeah, all the dragons are dead. You have to feed them only fast fish. Wow, this summon is great. We just get to sit here and watch him stare at us. Then we all come down. Wait, where's Strago and Cyan? Up oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, how could you do that to me? So, that's really crazy. What happens if you save Sid? He just chills there the rest of the game? But you don't get the cool scene? Wait, you don't get the... Wait a second. You don't get the... The Celeste scene if you save Sid? Wow, that's wild. That, like, totally changes the story. I mean, I don't think that that scene, like, necessarily... ...affects anything directly later, but I, I feel like it's a big part of her story. That's wild that you can, like, skip that. <laughs> Just because you fed him the right fish. Yeah, that's weird. Like, I don't know, man. That that actually, I don't really like that. Because to me, the scene where Celeste jumps off the mountain didn't, it wasn't necessarily just her character. It was, like, thematic of the entire game. You know what I mean? Because, like, everything's building up to when the end of the world happens. And her jumping off the mountain is, like, almost a metaphor for the entire world kind of giving up, right? But then, when she survives, it's like, metaphoric of the whole world having hope. Like, to me, it was more than just her character jumping off the mountain. 
it was like thematic of the entire world. That's wild that you could just skip that. Anyways, alright, so... You can bet the Ragnarok for a better sword? Wait, so the Ragnarok isn't the best sword? That's wild. Oh, wait, 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 we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Um, someone was saying we had more to do in the Coliseum. What, what is there to do at the Coliseum, though? So just an item that's interesting that I didn't bet. Well, I didn't get the sword, so I can't do that. So what, what should I bet? And who should I take? Because didn't we say that Yeti was good? This is not the Coliseum. <laughs> I thought this was the Coliseum. I heard the music and I was like, wait a second. Uh, Calcium is... Isn't it on the, the crab claw? Yeah. <laughs> it's north. It's snorth. I should probably go in with Celeste, but Terra would probably be good too. With pleasure. Uh. You said Valiant Knife? Darth. Bet the Excalibur. Why is the item list so stupid? Like, there's a... There's a blank space here. Why did it not go there? Uh, it just gives me an elixir. So... <laughs> this was a waste. It's nice that you don't lose the item if he sneezes you. So, anything else that's interesting? Behemoth suit? I think I have two of them.
You get a snow muffler. That's interesting. This is probably a waste. Yeah, you're right. I think, like, I, I can see why. Uh, well, she morphed! <laughs> Use magic, Terra. Um. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Uh, I can see why the Yeti is so good for this. Murasan. I'm just kind of looking at what the items are. I'm not trying to win. I'm just curious as to what you get. You get Aura. get Pearl Lance really early here by exploiting it and just break the game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if I was sleeping on some of the tools, but Drill was so good I didn't feel like testing them all, so I just kind of kept using it. But I had a feeling that some of them might be better. Drill was just so consistently good, though, I just kept using them. Yay! We won! Is that the Aura Sword, though? Like, what? What did we actually just get? Oh, the katana that I already owned? Yeah. Anything else interesting? I thought for sure there'd be one that was, like, specifically for this that had, like, a special boss or something, but I guess it's all just random stuff. Did that in the remakes? That's cool. The Strato. Get to the Pearl Lance. Yeah, I didn't really, um, I didn't really do too much, uh, experimenting with the items. Because I know you can use items in battle, but I learned all the magic so quickly that I just kind of figured there, it wouldn't be use doing, you know? Um, and like these early rods I got break when you use them, so I was like, okay, that's not worth it. The belt doesn't give experience, that's good to know. Okay, so the only other thing that I saw in the chat was the dino... Island, which I went to, but I must have missed something. Oh, that's right, the Brachiosaur. I just didn't, I just happened to knock into a fight with him. Alright, let me get the, let me get the crew together. Who honestly should probably, uh, should probably consider putting Mog in my party, but stick with the, the classic. Uh, 
should be this forest, right? Hidden room in the Fanatics Tower. Okay, hold on. Let's do this first. You need the Age of Shield. Three percent done with Ultima. The XPA. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that. So if you want to tell me what it is, go ahead. I have the Minerva, which is hilariously good on Celeste. Where do you get the XP egg? I figured that's what it did, but... It's in Daryl's tomb? Wow, you could, I could have gotten that really early then, huh? Unless you have to come back later. Is that not, like, brutally broken if you get it early? Am I missing something here? That sounds brutally broken. Genji Glove and Offering breaks the game? What is Genji Glove doing? Isn't Genji Glove the equipped two weapons? I find that the Gauntlet's stronger than the Genji Glove, but maybe I just didn't find the right weapons. But every time I tried Genji Glove versus Gauntlet, I ended up doing more damage with Gauntlet. Uh, I suppose if you do that, you get 8x cut, but again, every time that I tried it, Gauntlet with one less attack did more damage. The weapon doesn't lose damage. Okay, that sounds stupid strong. I wonder if I should give Locke the Atma weapon instead of the Excalibur. I'm curious to see if it would do more. Wait a second. Yeah, that means if you did the 8x cut, it would also not be less. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty strong. The thing with the Atma weapon, though, is I have to keep Locke healthy, I think. So it's not exactly like it does come with a downside. Whereas the Excalibur just always does really good damage. You can tell me about Shadow, but if you don't mind, just wait, because we're like very close to being done, and then I'm going to actually open everything up. Very, very close to me. I'm just waiting for this dinosaur to appear. I don't have two Atma weapons, do I? No. That would definitely be insane. Dang, 
this guy's kind of kind of rare. I'm surprised I ran into him. He was the first fight I got in this forest when I walked through here. guy doing Quake. 1 in 16. Yikes. I don't like those odds. Not for me. While we're waiting for this stupid dinosaur to appear, I just want to thank all you guys for being here today. This was such an amazing journey through this game, and doing it with you guys is what really made it special, so thank you. I think we got the dinosaur, and then, oh no, um, uh, there's a secret room in the tower, and actually I would like to go get the experience egg. I'm just curious as to where it is. Okay. What this damage, though? Am I dead? Might be dead. I don't feel so good. Celeste is super tank. Should be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. I thought... Did it say something like Terra's morph is powered up or something? I feel like I remember there being something like that. Big stuff, bro. Maybe not, though. Yeah, man, it's just, it's been a blast. I mean, <laughs> you can tell how much fun and how committed I've been to this playthrough. I didn't even eat lunch today. I just cannot get up out of the seat. I'm having too much fun. And just... I've been waiting so long to experience especially this finale with you guys that it's just like a dream come true. <laughs> this is where Chad is like, crap, I haven't eaten either. See you, ABL. Have a good weekend. I mean, normally I would like munch on stuff sitting here, but I haven't even felt like I wanted to. I just want to keep playing. I'm in a trance. The game's got me in a trance. Can I have a dinosaur, please? not the right dinosaur. 
damn dinosaur at home. I mean, at least these dinosaurs give me some magic points and stuff, so it's not a complete waste, but... Yeah, I'm really excited for the 7 run as well, and the fact that we get to start it next week is awesome. We get to do a double day for the first week, and it's gonna be sweet. Uh, we learned Flare. That's pretty neat. How close to read Ultima? Not even close. Let's go back to Crusader, I guess. Or I guess I could do Alexander. Actually, let me equip Alexander once just because I want to see him. We didn't see him yet. I am not grinding the curse shield, dude. <laughs> I am not doing 256 fights just for a slightly better shield. I'm not all about that life. I think if I were playing this alone casually, I'd probably do it. Because, like, grinding is kind of fun when you're alone can put on a show and just sit here and, you know, mindlessly do it, but for a Let's Play, like, I'm all set. <laughs> I'm all set on that one. And I mean, we do grindy stuff all the time on stream for, like, Trophy Quest and stuff, but not for a Let's Play. Grindy stuff on stream is actually pretty fun a lot of times, because, uh... We usually get into funny conversations and have a good old time, but... Yeah, it's a bit cathartic sometimes when you're alone just to grind something out. That's one of the reasons I really like uh, the Zombies mode. I've been a fan of that for a long time. It's just a really great, like, cathartic, shoot stuff, relax type of experience. But, you know, there, there's a certain amount of, like, limit I want to put on grindy stuff when it comes to the Let's Plays, because you're watching it on YouTube, and it's like, you don't have the same interaction. And I, I want these to be a more official, like, play through the games and doing the stuff that's entertaining and then moving on. Plus, you know, Phantathon does have to end before I end, you know. It, <laughs> within the next, like, 70 years would be nice. I'm like still alive. Someone doesn't have to like. My son doesn't have to take my place to continue. <laughs> continue on, Phantathon, son. We only got the Final Fantasy 12. You have to continue on. You have to take up the mantle. Um. I'm an idiot. Input. Oh no, never mind. It's on Terra, right? Okay. I was thinking it was on Celeste. I couldn't use them. Yeah, Trophy Quest, on the other hand, I'm probably going to leave that to my kids. Like, one of my kids is going to have to pick up Trophy Quest. <laughs> I'll still be getting the Skyrim Platinum. You have to you have to carry on my legacy. Flare is really strong, by the way. I think it's stronger than Meteor. I mean, it makes sense, because Meteor hits everything, so... This fight is actually really really annoying if they both use Meteor at the same time. I think we're dead. That double flare though. Beep bop, beep bop, beep bop, beep bop, beep. Justice! Oh, that's the name of Alexander. I was like, what the heck is Justice? There he is! What the... Oh, thank god he used a regular attack and not... Uh... Meteor. 
the heck was that little like? <laughs> like it was so fast. He popped up. He was like popped up. Bzz. Kill that dinosaur. <laughs> Don't look now, but there's a dinosaur behind you. Try to get your son into Final Fantasy, but to no avail. Man, if only there was like a collection of like original ports of the game on a modern console. Nah. Okay, I, I guess we're just not good in this fight. It just doesn't exist anymore, guys. We tried. <laughs> Dude, something about that. That laser and like the sound effect it makes is just killing me. It's so funny. He pops up all epic and then he just like moves his mouth down and goes. Bzz. <laughs> The pops back down, it's great. I don't want to equip the back guard. I just want to fight the dinosaur. Quit back guard tomorrow. Everyone type, everyone put the dinosaur emote, or emoticon, in the chat. Maybe that'll summon him. Maybe that's all we need. Yeah, just get the dinosaurs in the chat. That'll get, <laughs> this'll work. How's it going, Zupol? on record by saying you're all bad and should feel bad.
Rodríguez. Twerky, you did it. You subbed and he showed up. What a legend. Yes, he, he he did the resub with the switch at the start, so it switched it up. And we got a different fight. The fight we wanted. Weak against ice. Okie dokie. It's Dino time. Also, the spamming the dinosaurs definitely helped as well. That damage, though. That face when people told me Cyan was bad. Look at that freaking damage, dude. Okay, Lock is taking a break. Get a quick break. Hold on. <clears throat> this time. Well. Dang, 5,000 XP and 10 magic points. Wait, I thought you guys said he had goods. Did I have to steal them? Or is it a drop? Rare drop? What does he drop? Potion? Potion 2. An economizer. Don't I have one of those? No. I have the... Okay. Reduces MP use to 1? Dang. I mean, you really don't need that for this game, but hey. I guess if you're double casting Ultima. But yeah, like, if you already have... X magic, you can literally Osmos and Ultima in the same turn. Like it's pra I mean, and even even you know, not not talking about min maxing. Uh, you still have so much MP, like just casually throughout the game. Everyone does, so I really don't see too much use. And you already have the relic that has MP use, and that's already like enough to probably never run out of MP in a fight. Like, what fight is there in the entire game where if you had half cat half cost Ultima, you would actually run out of MP before the enemy died? Like, maybe the final boss? Like, <laughs> maybe if you spammed Ultima the entire Kefka fight, you'd run out of MP and have to use one elixir, but that's it. You know? 